Hello, friends. I want to say cheers to my friends on YouTube. Cheers to my friends on Facebook. Thanks for joining me. If you can make it live, if you're watching as a recording, hope you're doing well. It is about 5, 12 p.m. here in Champaign, and this winter storm is still going here, and I thought I'd jump on and just make a very chill post communicating a little bit of information about what's coming up in my world um one thing i can tell you guys for sure is that i'm excited for this little walter class i have not mentioned it on youtube at all so little walter um being possibly the most influential blues harmonica player on the planet i'm going to focus on him and dissect some ideas from his hits, a few of his hits, several of his hits, like Juke and My Babe. Um, we're going to listen to Last Night, uh, get ideas from Quarter to Twelve and Sad Hours and all that. So there's, I think there's actually a total of like seven classes that I've pulled ideas, specific phrasing from these songs that I, that stood out to me. And that's what's going on Saturday. Um, but what else can I tell you? March 5th is the Global Blues Harmonica Summit with Shane Sager, which will be cool. Looking forward to that. And that's about it. I'm busy working on this class because the class has been challenging, to say the least. Uh, this class has really uh, pushed me to really think about how to present these ideas in a way that's approachable for folks, but also not leave out enough of the nuance for the more advanced players that really want to dig into exactly what Walter is doing. So it's an interesting um, balance I'm having to find with everything. Hey, what's up, Juwan, Paul, and Ted, and Donald, David? I see some comments on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, what's up, Kenneth? Yeah, this is tequila. This is somebody's asking on Facebook, is this water or tequila? This is tequila. Um, I like to sip a good Blanco on the rocks, but then once you get past a certain quality, you get rid of the cube and you sip it neat, the good stuff. But this is, actually I could see, sip on this one neat. This is Altos, um, but I'm kind of a, I'm, I'm getting into all the different tequilas these days. So I'm actually drinking it out of a Crown Royal glass, I think, an old Crown Royal glass, yeah. So the class will be cool. That's Saturday. If you can't make it, everything is recorded. You can come hang uh, live if you can make it and ask questions. Uh, but everything's recorded. So it's one of those things where a lot of people sign up and just catch the recording. This is a really spontaneous class on my part. I didn't know what I wanted to do until yesterday. And then I released it right away. So I have been very busy. <laughs> um, preparing for this class. So I got a lot of ideas. What was it? Let's, let's pull it up actually. Cause, um, there's one, one that I forgot off the wall. I think it is that I forgot to mention. Uh, these songs to me were the ones that there are others. I could have kept going. Okay. I could have kept going and, and selected numerous tunes for this class, but, um, I landed on, like I mentioned, Juke, I landed on My Babe, Last Night, Blues with a Feeling, Sad Hours, Quarter to Twelve, and Off the Wall. And I just want to take the time to like, again, unfortunately for me, many of these lines are, are very interesting. So I go a little above and beyond and start selecting probably more than what's necessary for this type of class. So I might end up focusing on a handful of the ideas presented in the notes. I will have some tablature. And then... If time permits, we go back, circle back around and get to the other ideas. But I want to make sure we can dig into the ones that we actually like land on and, and have a moment playing them together, slowing them down, talking about the technique. Hey, what's up, Steve? Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre says, what level is required? Well, you certainly could attend at any level. Like if you were a total beginner, what would you learn from this? You would, you'd be on a listening It'd be on sort of like a, what's it called? How would I call that? Yeah, you'd be listening carefully, but you may not be able to play all the ideas, but it might be interesting to learn about 
what Walter's doing. And it might help you so that when you are ready to tackle it, like, here's an idea. I'll tell you this. When I was learning, for me, I would often hear and learn about things that I just couldn't comprehend. But I retained a lot of that information. And when I was building up skill, eventually, that stuff came back to help me. Uh, but really, this is designed for if you want to learn how to play these, you really need to have some knowledge of bending and a fairly good fairly good control over those bends to get the most out of the class and be able to learn these riffs and work them into your playing. And that's another thing we're going to do. A lot of these phrases that Walter comes up with are seamless, seemingly endless. And we're going to like take chunks of those phrases and show you how I'm going to basically show you how one arm of his phrase could be a whole riff that you could work. Or you could work separately on that next part of the phrase because these little pieces that you find are really relevant uh, licks or riffs, however you want to think about it, to bring into your play. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Who else is here? What's going on in the chat? YouTube. Um, thanks, Juwan. I appreciate that feedback. Hank, yeah, well, of course I like the añejos. I like all of them. I like all the expressions. Somebody says they just brought a rocket low. It's a totally new instrument. Great, I hope you enjoy it, man. I love those. So somebody's asking, is the class just a few riffs? For certain songs, there will only be a couple riffs. For many songs, there will be a handful of riffs. So it could be three or four or five. I'm trying to not go crazy on it because if I if I present too much, we really won't be able to sink our teeth into all of that. So, um, yeah, I'm just I think I think I'm gonna just play it how how it feels in the moment. Like really like go through the ones that I'll highlight first, and if I feel like we have time left and we've really gone through them in a in a way that really allows people to understand and come back to that recording and learn from, then yeah. We'll go do, we'll conquer the other ones, but at least you'll have plenty to chew on whether we go through all of them or not. Because um, I've time stamped the notes so that you can just go right to that part. Enrico, gracias. Or grazie. Or you, you might be Italian, or is that Portuguese? Portuguese? Five draw quarter step bend on sad hours is amazing and such a long bend, slow bend. Yeah, sad hours is a great song. I mean, all these songs are so good. Um, I wanted to add several others besides the ones that I landed on. This class is Saturday. Um, in fact, here, I will put in the live chat right now, I'll put the link so you can see it. I've pinned the message, so you should be able to see my link now in YouTube up top. And, yeah. That's what I got. I'm going to have dinner here soon. I wanted to come on and say cheers. So thanks for joining me for a quick happy hour. Probably going to be up late tonight listening to these songs and working on them. I'll give you guys a tip about working on tablature. It's very much like a grooming process, sort of like you're, you have to work in stages. And one thing that I find is that taking breaks is, is very helpful, like letting your ear rest for at least an hour or two between, you know, between your, your concentrated focused sessions. Um, and I, I work on tablature and decode these things that I'm learning in in a way that's very organic to me. And the way I do it is I, I do free tabbing, which is what I call it, when you just sort of let your instincts come up with the first thing. Like when you hear the track, what is my first in, my instincts tell me? And I don't judge it. I don't try to analyze too heavy. I write, I write, I write. And then I start the revision process over and over and over where... I listen for subtleties and nuances to where I get to the point where I'm like, ooh, I found that note's actually wrong, or this is not quite a warble, it's really a dirty note, or maybe there's part of it, you know what I mean? So you can, if you work it like that, it's nice because there's no expectation for anything to be perfect until you're satisfied. You're not like going for the end result, and it works really well for me. Hey, Mike, 
And Eric, what's going on? Guys, good to see you on Facebook. Uh, I'm looking this way because I've got a YouTube thing going as well. I'm going to turn this light off. Sorry, it's going to be a little dark. Uh, I just got a Honor Marine Brand crossover in A. Right on. Write drunk and edit sober. Well, that that's what Hemingway, a Hemingway quote. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't typically work under the influence um, unless I plan on being under the influence for teaching, which I don't drink and do that. I'll leave it at that. I definitely don't think that, um, like my drunk mind, my I don't really get drunk that often, but I don't think that my buzzed mind on alcohol is the right state to do it. So will you play tongue blocking or lip pursing? I'm probably, I'll be switching back and forth for the class. Switching back and forth a bit. And that gives me a minute to explain how I can execute things like, you know. That's on a B flat. Here's an A. I can kind of talk about how that lines up with um, a bit of a mixed approach, embouchure wise. And, you know, you, you can play it a million ways, all tongue blocked, all puckered, but you'll find that a lot of the texture that Walter creates, especially in his vamping, is um, created with tongue blocking. And you can do that puckered as well, like these little. So yeah. How you liking that Marine Band crossover in A? That's a good harmonica. It's not Tito's, it's Altos. Tequila. I don't have any plans to go to St. Louis, Rick. Not at the moment. Um, that could change. That could totally change. I'll have some shows in and around Chicago coming up here. Um, probably March. I would definitely March. Um, had some cancellations with all this weather going on. I've lost three gigs in a row because of the weather that has come through. Peter, I unfortunately will not be making it to spa this year. Eric's asking about Sweetwater. Uh, no plans right now, but that could easily change. And same with Canada. Hey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you here. And Denver. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I'll come back to play in Denver. That's a good question. You guys are hammering me. Where am I going to be? What am I going to do? I don't know. Um, if I do come back to play it all in Denver, it'll be with my buddy Moses Walker, most likely. Uh but yeah, yeah, quarter to 12, that is a great one. So as far as Denver, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably be coming back to Denver to pop in here and there to see some family and do stuff, but I don't, I don't know about gigs. Same with Sweetwater. Sweetwater, for those wondering, that's Fort Wayne, Indiana. I don't, that's usually a honer thing. Yeah, you got to head to Champaign. That's right, Eric. You know, I don't really pick up the harp wah too much. Uh, I think it's a cool invention, I have it. It's over there somewhere, but I don't pick it up too much. Um, I got my own harp wah. But no, I, th I like it, it's different. It's like a mute, I get it, it's a different sound. Um, I just feel more comfortable with it, not having it in my hands. So for me, I just prefer to use my hands I have messed around with a shot glass, or if you think about one step bigger than a shot glass, like, um, all right, Kevin, hey, good to see you, bro. Um, if you think about the size bigger than a shot glass, like the size of a, a sample, when you sample beer, it's like a large looking shot glass. That's the perfect size for also playing into and getting the harmonica to kind of sound like it has a cold. You know, this is way too big, but you get the idea. It's not the right glass. Somebody should screenshot this. You know, you can, if it were the right size, then you'd really get the effect. 
Hey, Chris, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I just did. How did I just change my perspective? Why does this crap happen to me all the time? Did I turn sideways on you on Facebook? Or is it just what I'm seeing? Good God, that's a mess. Somebody tell me on Facebook if I turned myself on my side. That is horrible. I'm not going to look at Facebook. I love you guys, but I'm going to have to disconnect. And I actually am going to go chow here in just a second. I will come see you soon. All right, that was horrible. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. I hope you guys are having a great night. Thanks for hanging out here with me on YouTube. Appreciate you. Don't don't forget this class is coming Saturday. Little classic little Walter riffs. Um, I'm going through Juke, My Babe, Last Night, Blues with a Feeling, Sad Hours, Quarter to Twelve, and Off the Wall. They're all second position. All you need is A, B flat, G, and D harmonica, and a C harmonica, and you'll be set to join me where we cover these hand selected riffs. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the chat pinned to the top. There's a link. I will probably put that link in the comment section or video description at some point here soon um, when the video is uploaded. But I appreciate you hanging out tonight. Make it a great evening. Enjoy. And if you can't make it to class, but you want to, uh, you want to check out this class, it will be available as a recording. You can buy in on the sale pricing, which I didn't mention. It's on sale right now. Um, so if you buy it before class, you get a better deal. And you'll get the same thing, the recording in the notes. It's at 11 a.m. Central. It'll probably go close to two hours. It'll be a little longer of a class. Okay. Thanks for all the good questions there. Uh, Brian, real quick to answer your question, I think they will do more keys in the pen harp. I think they're going to add, you'll see those probably not till next year, but possible by the end of this year, but likely not. But yeah, I think they're, they're planning on extending the line. All right, guys. David, I was talking about my Facebook post. <laughs> That's what went sideways. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. Make it a good one.